Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 14. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Excel 2010 Chapter 1, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're going to start on the sheet D and I for descriptive and inferential. We want to talk about descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Now, descriptive statistics is just like the word says. All we're doing is we're looking at numbers and describing them with a chart or a table. We'll make tabular, graphical, and numerical summaries of data. We've already seen examples of all of those. Making a frequency table, making a chart, calculating something like an average. Inferential statistics, in essence, is taking those descriptive statistics and other uh, statistical calculations and inferring something from them. Right? So we have this past data. That's all descriptive statistics does is it takes past data and it organizes it in some way. Can we see a trend or a pattern? Inferential statistics goes one step further. We see a trend or a pattern and then we make some estimation or prediction based on that. Now, inferential statistics, the, the actual definition is going to be the process of using data obtained from a sample to make estimates and test hypotheses about the characteristics of a population. So the long and short of it, we can't, a population is all of the items. A sample is just some of them. So if we're going to predict who we think will win the next election, we can't go out and ask everybody. That's the population. We have to ask just some of them. That's the sample. And from it, we'll, we'll, our sampling techniques will be robust, hopefully. And when we get some sort of number, we can then use to predict the future. Now let's go look at a, a more exact example. Both, and actually, we already saw a great example of inferential statistics when we looked a couple videos ago at the uh, box filling example, the box filling machine example. Now let's go over to the sheet descriptive statistics. Descriptive, tabular, graphical, numerical. Numerical, we'll do this in chapter three. We'll do lots of numerical measures, statistics, just describing. So what does it do when we calculate an average like this? Well, I just already did it. I averaged all these. Uh, we sampled and got cost of parts, right? So what does an average do? Now, the word average, if you look up in the formula bar here, Excel chose the word average. What it really means is mean, which means we add them all up and divide by the count. But what is an average? It's a single number that represents all the data points. It, in essence, gives us a typical value, right? The typical cost or the average cost per part is $78.98. So that is a numerical measure. We've taken all the data and we've somehow summarized it. Another way to summarize data is in a table form or tabular method. We've seen this already. Now here, we'll see how to do a frequency table like this next chapter, chapter 2. We've counted all the parts from 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80. We can kind of see a pattern, right? So the advantage of describing our data in a tabular form is then we could see some patterns or trends, right? So most of the items occur in the $70 to $80 range. Hey, and that kind of corresponds perfectly to what our average is. That's not always the case. We'll see as the cha our chapters go by. All right, so this is a tabular method of summarizing or describing data. Still further, here's a table. Here's a chart of that table, right? This gives us an even more visual, immediate visual impact, right? We can clearly see the pattern, uh, and the one that has the most is the 70 to 80. These are all describing. So we took a sample. We described it in some way. Statistical inference goes one step further. Uh, create reasonable es estimates from sample. So in our example, we calculated about 79 bucks, right? So in our budget projections, we'll use the average of $79 to help project future part cost. Now let's go look at an even better example of inferential statistics. I'm on the sheet inferential statistics term. Actually, no, we want to look at a few terms first. We actually already kind of looked at all of these. Population is all the items. Sample is some of them. Statistical inference the process of using data obtained from a sample to make estimates and test hypotheses about the characteristics of a population. Characteristic means, hey, if we could know the average of the population, then we wouldn't need to do sample, right? So that's a characteristic. An average of the population is a certain characteristic. 
census is collecting data for the population, survey sample collecting data for the sample. Now let's just look at a small example here. I have some randomized data here if you hit the F9 key. You could see right now I had this list of students and I here's all of them. And I pulled out three student three, seven, and eight and listed them here. This is going to be our sample. Right? If I hit F9 again, this time the sample will be one, three, and five. So oftentimes you just can't go out and ask questions or, or test all of the items in the population, so you take a small sample and then you do some calculations and from that you make some reasonable estimate. Now let's go to our last sheet here called science. This is the example we looked at earlier in the class. We've already seen this uh, at least one time, I think. Chapter 9, we'll do hypothesis testing. We'll go out and we'll take a sample. These are box weights. So we have a serial box filling machine. And as they come off the assembly line, we're taking samples. So here are some of our samples, right? On the package it says the box should weigh 10 grams. Well, from our sample, we have estimated that the average is 9.932. So anytime you do that, you take a sample and you use it as a reasonable estimate to estimate estimate what uh, the population parameter is because we don't really know. We're not uh, testing every single box that comes off the assembly line. Now in chapter nine, we'll see how to do this hypothesis test and take it inferential statistic one step further with a probability distribution like that. We'll look at areas. And from our calculations, anytime the blue area is greater than the green area, that means the machine is filling the box uh, appropriately. At least it's reasonable to assume that the machine is filling the box uh, accurately. Now if I hit F9, other times we may get a different result. And we'll do this with p-values and uh, alpha values when we get to chapter 9. But the point here is we have a method of going from a sample and making some reasonable statement about the population parameter. So our average is 9.88 here. But from our statistical calculations, we're going to conclude uh, that it's reasonable to assume that the machine is not filling accurately. All right. Now, one last uh, little test. This will be like your quizzes that you take. Here's two statements. We got 9.88. That's our average from our sample, right? Here's statement number one. The average for the population is 9.88. Or a reasonable estimate of the average for the population is 9.88. Which one is more correct? Which one is correct? Well, of course, it's B. We did a sample. The fact that we did not include every single item in our averaging calculation means this is not true. The average for the population is 9.88. That's not a true statement. You have to you pick your language carefully and your thinking also carefully. A reasonable estimate. Yeah, because we're not going to test them all, but this is a good estimate. All right, inferential and descriptive statistics. Inferential statistics, we'll take a sample and we'll make some reasonable statement about some population characteristic or parameter like average. Descriptive statistics, we simply take our data and describe it either using a numerical, tabular, or graphical method. All right, uh, that's the last video for chapter one. Next chapter, chapter two, we'll do frequency distributions and tabular methods of describing and graphical methods of describing. All right, see you next chapter and video.